then it still has all the information from the last one. Yeah, all you do is just change the, the street name. Okay. And, and set, as far as the sidewalk, see, it doesn't have a sidewalk. But that's a new, you know, something new that you learn in your daily dictionary. You can actually say gravel, side of the road, or... See, what you can do is you can stand closest to the pole and start logging while you finish the rest of the data. Okay. Homestead. H M E Homestead S T E D. Because you know what it is. Um, this is just your raw data, and then when you take it into ArcMap, then you can actually put the real name. And so. Facing north. Yeah. The last one we didn't do the facing. Oh well, so we'll have to edit, edit that. I'll show you how to edit. Wow. Is that? We left the sidewalk last time. It's all good. Okay, we are recording. <laughs> Stephanie is right here. She went out to take some points. Mm -hmm. And here's the data unit right here. And we're going to go post process the data. It's, it's, it's past, past the hour. <laughs> I'm just moving the camera back and forth. Okay, <laughs> so um, actually, I need a little tripod. If you can hold that like that. So you can see the screen. Okay, that's that. Can you see it? Oh. Can the camera see it? Oh, that was the speaker. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we go uh, open up Pathfinder Office. I think it's already open there. Yeah, I see it's already open. Okay, um, point over here. We are connecting the data cable to the computer to the data, uh, data logger. And and we're gonna wait till the computer tells us that we are connected. I heard a beep. So, okay. So we're gonna to go to utilities. We're gonna click data, you got it? Yeah, I was just seeing if I could zoom in. Huh? Zoom in. Yeah, zoom in is this, this way. But since it has a wide angle lens, you don't, if you zoom in too, too close, it gets blurry. But okay. This is good right there, like that. So you get the whole screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go to utilities, go data transfer because we're going to transfer from the um, GPS unit to the computer. So you click on that and it come up with a window. Okay, comes up with this window. And we're going to see before we use send mm -hmm. to send the data dictionary into the yeah. GPS, now we're going to receive. Okay. So we're going to hit add, and it's a data file, okay? And these are the four files that Stephanie, remember we open it and we close it all the way? Mm -hmm. So for practice purposes, we're just going to open up... Um, uh, 11A was the one that we did here. Yeah, 11A is over at the Grimshaw and Mid Valley. So we're going to go, let's just do two. I think 11A okay. We're gonna just do two because I want to teach uh, have Stephanie go through the process of uh, post processing the other three. Okay, then we hit open. Here they are. Okay, then we say transfer files. And you say close. And we're done with this this data transfer window, so we close that. So now the files are now in the computer. So we're gonna say view map right there seeing so view map and then here it asks for those two files that you have transferred you mm -hmm. say okay and it says selectify and put span more than one week don't worry about that and then here's here's a one point and there should be another one did we take two points uh i think the first one was in here oh yeah it was in the that's office that's right okay and then that was the 11, or was that, that out was there? That was 11. And then okay. 12 was when we actually started. Okay, so this one was actually bogus then. Okay, <laughs> so we'll go, we'll get rid of it. Well, we did We did 12 too. Yeah, this was 12A right here. This 11 
We didn't actually oh, we put didn't. a point. Okay. So now this one doesn't have a background, so we can't really tell. Yeah, we're... Now if you yeah. had multiple, let's say we took points along the street, then the street would show here. And let's say, let's do an intersection, you'll see the points like an intersection, you know, four, four corners. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but let's go ahead and post-process that. This is your post-process. You have to differential correct it. Well, as I was saying, between the layer, mm -hmm. within the real world, and your data layer from your GPS, you click on this, and a window should pop up that looks like that. Okay, I know that both files are one is bogus, but we'll, we'll do both because uh, we don't exactly know which one. Uh, so we hit next, we hit next. We hit next. See, we're using the Dixie National Forest. Now, if you're going to be in um, a Centerville, there should be a, uh, a base station next, next by. Just hit select, and then you can choose. And this is the distance away from you. Okay. okay? So you find out which one is the closest to your to your um, location. We use the Dixie National Forest, so we hit next. Use the project folder and hit next, and now it's going to post process right there. Okay. Now, since we use an internal, uh, the internal antenna, which is not as accurate as the backpack. Yeah. Over here it says five meters, mm -hmm. which is all points were about five meters, which is for me personally not really good. Yeah. I like to be a little closer. But since we're, this is just for training, um, I like to be up here and just using the backpack. I'll be in this this region right here. Which is 15 to 30 centimeters. Centimeter, which is six six inches or a little more than that, six to 12 inches. But since we have this, we got 100 points, and we go, and that's been post post processed. Now, let's see what we do if we go map. We close this map. We'll open it again. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. Now, now that it's been post-processed, let's put it into, a, export it into a file that Esri, you know, ArcMap will rec recognize. Mm -hmm. So you click on that, which is your, um, this is called the export button, okay? Here's the two files. This is your path, and it should go into your stop sign project. Mm -hmm. And these are the formats. Since we're using we're using Esri, it recognizes Esri ESRI, which is your arc map. It's going to convert it into that foreign map. So you hit OK. Then it goes really quick. You should get a window like this. Yeah. Two files has been read. 77 position read. Total of one feature. And then that's it. You close that. And so when you open up arc map, we're going to open up. Um, our tool first, our catalog. The reason why is because with our catalog, you can create a geodatabase first. It's always better to create a geodatabase for your project, and that's mm -hmm. why I, when I took uh, advanced, you no, know, when I took principles to um, GIS, we call it the bucket because it's like <laughs> a bucket and you put all the information in there. So we'll find GPS project, we'll look for your stop sign, right here, stop sign. So you right click, say new, geodatabase, and we call it the same name. So let's call it stop, stop sign. sign. Stop sign project. Okay, now inside of geodatabase you always want to create um, feature no, the data set, where am I? Right here. So here's your, and then so you go this way, go new, feature data set. And feature data set, basically it's a, it's your, your, your geodatabase to me it's like your filing cabinet. And then your, um, your data set are the drawers of the big filing cabinet. So I'll call it the same thing, stop sign. 
project. And then I'm gonna, this is where you, you, you choose the correct coordinate system. So I hit the plus sign. We're using UTM, NAT 83. And we use, we're in zone 12 north. And let's see, I'm gonna do elevation. A lot, a lot of people, they, they don't care, but I do, because sometimes I do need to know what elevation we're in. So I go uh, North America. Nat 83, and next, and next, and finish. And that's it. Okay. When when we export those files, they should be in this folder right here, in the project folder, and under export. And here they are. Awesome. See, so you see it preview. It should be just one point. Just Here's like your that. one point. Now remember, the green one we, in the export, it, it, it is not assigned a coordinate system. Remember, we did that okay. when we created the the uh, the uh, data set. Remember, we had to change to NAT83. Mm -hmm. So this one has a coordinate system. This one here, the, this one here does not. So a lot when I first learned GIS, I didn't know that. I just dragged it straight into my my mm -hmm. file, and it sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. So let's open up ArcMap right here. Actually, before you do that, in this our in our data set, there's nothing in. We haven't. Uh, imported yet so we have this file right here has not been assigned a coordinate system so we're gonna when we import it in this guy it will be assigned a coordinate system so we go right click hit import we're gonna go to the export folder which is it should pop up any second we have more dual monitors you always have to check that one on this one yeah. here it is so the input folder will be your export folder right so you find out your project. So let's see. Oh, maybe let's see this one here. <coughs> GPS projects, and then I'll look for stop sign. No, that's not it. This guy. Okay, we we'll look for stop sign right here. Stop sign. We go into export. See, remember, we're looking for the input. Where is it coming from? Mm -hmm. This is the file we need. So you're gonna say add, and then what are we gonna call those? Uh, stop signs. So here you can use spaces signs. Okay, and then we hit OK. Now it's gonna export from one to the other folder, and assign. Oh, uh, let's see. I didn't like the. Space. Yeah. I thought it did, but here. You should have a window like this where it processes, and after it's processed, you should hit close. Okay, so now if you open up your data set, or you feed, here's your sign, here's your, it looks like a dot, but it has a coordinate system assigned to it now. So if I open up ArcMap, And um, I should get a layer, critical layer in here. Okay, it's so slow. Here we are. Okay, we're gonna go new because this one I have a setup to call the last the last project. So we're gonna hit new. Blank, yeah. Okay. We're going to import. This is the green one. Remember, you stay away from the green one because they don't have a uh, coordinate system assigned to it. So we're going to go into the database. And that's the one we want. That one has a coordinate system assigned to it. And then we're going to lay out the space here. It looks like a dot. But let's go ahead and set a background, the mapping background. So I go to the AGRC icon, photo, color, we take the 2006 one foot HRO, what does that mean? High resolution. <laughs> Select, okay, 